Hello everybody and welcome back to our Zadoyle Hole campaign, our beautiful city-state, where we have finally gotten out of our crisis, and we're just now trying to get everything figured out. Like getting a fractional banking. My favorite. I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay. Guess we could get into it soon. Because we need it to get to this central bank funding decision. Hmm. Could do that. We also need to go down these paths, which will open up soon. Artistic subsidies and this upcoming year. Actually, second day of the new year. Perfect. Get that done. We did take our scientific revolution, so we will go for this tech. Get our workshop. Let's actually, let's start building up in our capital. Yeah, Zdoa Hole itself. We'll make a lot there. Let's see. Uh-oh. White Shadow doesn't know what's coming. So White Shadow just declared war on one of our people, and now all of the swords are going to war with them. Let's see how that goes. How many troops do you have, White Shadow, yourself? 29k? Hmm. I'll trade a stability for tradition. Wait a minute, hold on. Don't we need to stab for some of these events? It is pretty low down here. I'll take Republican tradition. And I might as well go innovative. I mean, that's the whole point. I'm gonna be innovative as possible. Just wish I wasn't hemorrhaging cash all the time, but it's because of these stupid colonies. And we can't even do the storytellers because they don't have any admin now, because I'm smart. Awesome. We use the assembly house to share our granaries. That's pretty good. And then take another bureaucrat. Dare I say it again? I hope he's not greedy. He's a zealot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Even better. We don't have enough dev to accept the centaurs yet, so I won't convert. But we will soon. I'm just curious to see how this war is going to go. Looks like the white shadow is destroying us. Probably declaring for some kind of colony. What is it? Haragzeni Bulrek. Oh, that's just... Okay. It's just the person itself. We're actually over our uh, limit here. I think it was just for these. Yeah, so I'll keep it. And yay, we get the gold mine. Beautiful. Morale of armies. Should be making money, yeah? Yeah. There we go. Inflation's just a number. Who am I allied to? Aku, I don't know who you are. I don't need you as a friend. Alright. The Storytellers. Let's see, let's see. The legends of the Trianic people stretch back as long as any man can remember, with some dating to the time before arrival to other islands. We should write down these stories so that we may always remember our past. Okay. Prestige and Splendor. And then I want to get this wandering band as soon as possible. I need to. I'm gonna dev up the gold mine a little bit. I mean, I could go to war with some people. Who's another good rival? I guess you could be good. Who are you allied to? Oh no, you're a sword. Okay. You a sword? Don't look like it. Alright. Guess we will choose you as our next rival. I can defame him. No, I won't. Get some free points at the 
the house. Might as well. Our standing's fine. Especially because we're part of the purse. And nice, we got that done. So next area down here. I'll take it. Get you... Accept the plain centaurs, because we're going to have to do that sooner or later, and start converting them, because they love it. Just need money. And I would dev up everything, but I know I just dev this up like a couple times, but it's not that expensive. Like my capital, the cost of war is raising it a lot. And I want to wait until that's over, which will be over someday. You. Right before the turn of the century. Okay. Looks like our brothers are pushing back. Yeah, they are. Good on them. Seems like they're just throwing manpower at them, which is working. Because they're losing battles, but they are occupying everything. Good. Okay for them. And while we sit here clutching our purse, and turn off this fort for now. Save some more money. Probably build up a navy too, but I need the money for now. Loans are only 48. Oh wow, we get reduced interest because of this. Actually doesn't sound that bad. Nobody started the bank yet. I think we might be one of the first... Oh wait, nope. Someone just did. So would I rather do Wandering Band or start the bank? I mean, honestly, the bank seems a lot better. Just so much money is needed for all of these. Separation of power. Parliament's always cool. Pretty powerful. Put a parliament in our capital. Let's see what we can push. I don't like any of these, so I'm just going to wait a month. Okay, what you got now? I'll let it roll again. <laughs> I'll eventually pick one. You know what? I do want to get another officer. And he is trash. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Parliament. Very cool. Yeah, you know what? I'll invest in the bank. Seems like the best thing to do. Very high standing, excuse me? How old are you? Too old. Are we not the Federation leader anymore? What have I done? We'll get it back sooner or later. Looks like Zerka just stole that. Cool. Starting to get a little bit behind on everything now. It's just a lot of money is necessary. We are making a ton of money off of this gold mine now, though. I love it. Just need to see our colonies come through. Not really doing too well. Yeah, I'll lose in inflation. Why not? Huh, I wonder... I want to scroll through this, but I can't do it. Like, I want to see who took it from us. Are you the Federation leader now? I wasn't paying attention. Like a dummy. But I feel like the the standing loss for this is a lot more than the grain one. 
Or I guess somebody passed me. But who is it? There must be a federation leader. Is there a tie? I guess there's a tie. Thank you. Thank you for the prestige lost adventurers. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I started diving up this gold mine. How are we on Diplo? I really want to get this debit up. We need to suck up as much money as possible. Because getting the central bank would help a lot. And it is 10% done, and we are the greatest contributor, so that's good. We're going to need two stability to go down here. I think we should try to rush that soon. Get it going. Our admin's going to be hurting forever. I just feel it. <laughs> Great. don't know how to get more admin points. We could do a show strength war. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Here goes colonialism. Well, we can't declare war at all because there's no federation leader. Maybe I can steal it once our um, shared granaries goes away. That's got to be done. Share granaries. And it's just a little confusing. Let's pump some more money into there. Huh. Alright. You know what? I'm going to go for this. Because these don't cost money, it costs Diplo. Also, same here. Manpower, and then we can probably get this too. Diplo rep isn't that good at all. Yeah, because we're not a monarchy. But I need to attack a rival. Excuse me, sir. I'm going to milk this province. Yeah, we can't do anything right now. Dang it. My cold, dead hands, you'll get this province back. Alright, there it goes. <laughs> oh. But I wonder who's the closest. Like, is it you? Because I could defame you. Do that, I guess. Hopefully this bank doesn't get done way too soon before I get this gold back. Because that would be annoying. Alright, you, Mr. Youngling. Get a good personality. Nice, scholar. Hmm dev you up a little bit. Get you harshly treated. Hmm. Yeah, I learned my lesson. Admin. Admin in trees. Admin everywhere. I thought innovative would have made sense. Which it does. It's just like in this position it really doesn't. It's kind of sad. But why is there no federation leader? Let me read this. It doesn't say anything. This is something I did. Did I do something wrong? Oh, come on. Yay! I did it! I got elected. <laughs> I have no idea 
what is going on, <laughs> as you can tell. Let's bump his stability and do this. A lawful federation. If the federation is to survive, we please do. All of its members must respect all of its laws. This extends to war rights, which many of the more radical unifiers within our country wish to see revoke. Revoked? So they confuse me. It says which to see revoked. It's weird. We must assure the rest of the Federation that we respect their war rights and thus the Federation as a whole. By prestige. Okay. Here we go. Even more stuff. Law and order. Home for everybody. Island laws. I mean, I'll take this one. Law and order. With the success of the various economic reforms, there have been calls for the implementation of a common legal system in order to educate something like that, disputes between members and ensure the fair treatment of citizens of the Federation regardless of their origins. We should begin drafting a new civil code to present to the Federation's members. Okay. More clicks, more clicks. Ooh, that sounds good. Home for everyone. Gain standing, gain standing, gain standing. I mean, we need to go through all of these. Okay, let's see this one. Home for everyone. Just as providing food for the population has often been a challenge, so too has providing adequate housing. These challenges have been further exasperated by frequent centaur invasions and internal strife. As the Federation continues to evolve, there have been a concerted push to address this by embarking on widespread state-led development projects. We should heed this advice and rectify the problem. Okay. Oh wow, we can pretty much do all of these feel like we might win this race. Who knows? That's the museum. That's already getting a little bit contributed. So I'm assuming only one of these can have legislative work at the same time. Doing census is probably separated. Okay. Sea laws or island laws? Hmm. Ooh, that sounds good. Safe merchant city. Oh, let's do island laws. With the natural focus on sea trade within the Federation, our land routes have gone unsupervised, bandits are plentiful, and the Trinic cities cannot decide what to do about them. We must draft a plan to do with these bandits before our areas of control are restricted to the cities themselves. More admin, more dip. Okay. Then we'll need to do this one too. Just more admin down the drain. Great. Let's step you up again. Hmm. Okay, yeah, let's declare on this guy. Excuse me. What? Oh my lord, what did you do? Did you take all of their vassals? <sighs> what? Maybe I could go for you. Yeah. Are you still my rival? No, you are not. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I could go for you. None of you guys are going to help, but it's fine. Where else can I go for? That's pretty much it. Maybe I won't for now. Hmm. I mean, our whole purpose is to not be mean to each other, right? Like, why would I attack him? I really need this central bank, though. He's super helpful. I wonder if the AI is smart enough to just take out, like, 50 loans and just pump it in there. Right at the end, when I'm about to get it. That would be super hilarious. Oh, cool. Get these moving, too. I'm assuming you can't do these while you have integration efforts, so we have to do one of them. Same heart. While we have many differences with our neighbors, we at least share the same general anatomy. <laughs> okay. It's one way to go about it. We don't 
eat each other or have four legs, and that is more important than any language difference at all. Okay, cool. Awesome. Just wish my leaders were always like this. Four, five, one. Perfect. I'll take this because it makes sense for us. Even though, yeah, we can't really afford it. We could do that though. That's just as good. I mean, do we need an artist or anything for these? We're not part of this. Oh, we can get mainland territories. Hey, our colonies are paying off. In the mission tree, not in the actual game, but anyway. Colonial efforts are beginning to bear fruit, as the various colonies have begun to form a genuine territory. This reflects greatly upon our state and will increase our standing in the Federation. Yay. Awesome. And we get another five, and then trade efficiency later on, once we get ten. Ten colonies. Brilliant. Now we can do educating the masses, too. That's cool. Ooh, more standing. One of the challenges of creating and implementing a new legal system for the Federation is ensuring that the people adequately understand their relationship with the law and the responsibilities that come with their citizenship. If these reforms are to succeed, we must embark on a campaign to educate the masses about our proposed system. More admin. Trust me, guys. I'll be on admin tech 6 for the rest of the game, but it will pay off. Trust me. I'm a doctor. I'm actually not. Oh, come on, not this again. Do we need stability for any of these? Stability of three. Republican tradition makes more sense anyway. I know it costs more because of all of our people. Oh, what's this? The true goddess. Hold on. I should probably pause this missionary before I continue. A new faith has emerged from Izukiyo. As Izukiyo, streets are now filled with the idea of a new goddess. Believers claim that Unuk Kodave and Yukel are but mere aspects of her singular divinity. Kellyan presents herself as the embodiment of all things and her followers preach unity and oneness in the Federation, just as Kalyan herself represents oneness among the divine. Her followers are not pacifists, however. They proclaim that it is the Federation's moral obligation to bring ruthless retribution to her enemies beyond its borders. With the strife and division of the religious war fresh in their minds, many have come to adhere to this idea, hoping that Kalyan represents an opportunity for peace and coexistence within the Federation. How should we respond? Um... Yeah, you know what? We'll take it. Yeah. Sure. That sounds fun. Awesome. So what is this new religion? Okay, we look weak somehow. Kalian Worship. Infantry combat ability, trade value modifier, goods produced, talents of... Okay, so it's basically like pretty much all three of them semi put together. Yeah, let's re-elect him. Because Kodave has tolerance, reduction, infantry combat. You have... Can't show me. Oh, come on. Really, guys? Alright, here it is. Trade value, and then we are also production. Okay. The Great Fracture, a heated debate between the worshippers of Kalyan and Kodave, escalated to an all-out skirmish in the countryside of Radakad. In Radakad, very creative, killing hundreds of newly converted Kalyan devotees. Kalyan demands reparations. I said reputation. Alright, here we go. Another crisis. Great. Come on, guys. I'm just going to take this just in case. Come on. <sighs> Outrageous demands. A heated debate between the worshippers of Kalyan and Kodave caused death on both sides in one of our provinces. 
Despite it being totally out of control, Yuzukiel is asking us to pay reparations for the Kalyan families and ensure that their heretic faith can be safely practiced in our country. Mobilizing our troops in 30 days. Oh my goodness. Alright guys, I'm going to end the episode here. Federations of World in Crisis again, of course. We're all not getting together. And I'd like to see you guys next time as we continue in this. Thank you all.